Double thought he had me, then I scream, scream. Double thought he had me, then I scream, scream. Yeah, yo, hey, hey. Ain't no weapons formed against me, gonna prosper. Ain't no weapon. Plenty of angels round me, packing like some mobsters. Holy. Ye hypocrites. <laughs> you hypocrites. Keep going. Well did Isaiah's prophet prophecy of you say it. This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth. These people draw nigh, they, they, they draw close to me with their mouth. Oh Jesus, I love you. They're in Sunday, Jesus, I love you. I love you, Jesus. But in their hearts, it's wickedness. In their hearts, ah oh man, look at that sister over there. Look at that brother over there. Christ, Christ ain't looking at you, just waving your hands and you crying. He's looking in your inward parts. He's looking at your hearts. Keep going. Read, read that one more time, brother. Verse 8, these people draw a fly unto me with their mouth. These people draw close unto Christ, unto Christ with their mouth. I love you, Jesus, but what? And honoreth me with their lips. And they honor and they honoreth God with their lips. Yeah? But, but their heart is far from me. But their heart is far from me. You ain't fooling nobody but yourself. The Most High is looking at the hearts of men. It's only us as human beings look at the outside. God looks at the hearts. So you ain't fooling nobody but yourself. Just know that. Keep going, brother. Verse 9. But in vain they do worship thee. In vain. So all of that dramatic. Oh, all of that stuff is what? It's what? Vain. In vain. It's all in vain, sis. You see what I'm saying? There's no point in saying, oh, Jesus, I love you if your hearts are bad, right? There's no point. We have to first deal with the inside. The Christian church, they said that the commandments and laws have been done away with. All right? That's what they say. But go quick, brother, go back to, to Matthew 23. Go back to Matthew 23 for my sister quickly. They said the laws and the commandments are done away with. But I'm saying that can't be because... If there, was, if there was no laws to govern this road right now, like speed limits, right, that's a law. This, law, this, this road would be a madness, right? People would just be turning whenever they want to turn. So there must be laws and command which, which God himself has said, this is how I want my people to conduct themselves, right? So cool, read that, read that quickly. Matthew 23, 1. Listen to this. Matthew chapter 23, verse 1. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying... So, so Christ was speaking to the multitude of people and to his disciples. What did he say? The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. So the, the scribes and the Pharisees, so those are people who are really learning. They understand the Bible in and out. They've studied this Bible, yeah? So Moses is the one who got the commandments, right, and the laws. He got that. He is, he, the Most High gave him that to establish, right? So they knew about that. And they would go out and actively teach that to people. Keep going. All therefore whatsoever they bid you to observe. So he said, everything that they're telling you to keep and do, do it. But what? That observe and do. To observe and do. Yeah, keep going. But do not ye after their work. So, but, but Christ said, you know what? Everything that they're telling you to do, do. Because they're learning in the scriptures. But their works don't do. Their conduct don't. Why? For they say and do not. You see that? The Pharisees at that time. You see, sis? The Pharisees at that time were saying. Exactly. So say that for the microphone, please. What would it say? Do as I say, not as I do. Yes. Exactly. You see that? That's it, sis. So in I've been noticing there's two sides of people. There's a lot of times when I see some people doing really, really good. Like, I mean really good. And this is on YouTube and stuff. And I go and I watch everything and I look at everything. And then I start to see the human in them. I start to see where they follow the good and they do it. They, they say it, but very human behaviors. They might not follow through in their own life. And I've been noticing it. There's a constant battle between the flesh and keeping the laws and the commandments. But this is the issue. You could be dealing with lust. But some people will be like, you know what? I don't care, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go out there and just sex up every girl. And then there's another person who's gonna say, you know what? Although I have that urge, I'm gonna fight that urge. Although I usually switch up, I get angry when I'm driving. You know what? I'm gonna try my best to, to strengthen. 
for myself. So that's the constant battle. Romans 7, check this out. Say it loudly, yeah? Romans chapter 7, verse 15. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. You see what I hate, that I do. You see that? So you see that, sis? There's a constant battle within Paul. There's something that he wants, he wants to do good, but there's something pulling him to do bad. That's that in, it's that internal battle. Everybody goes for it. Is, is, is that the conscious? Say that, sis? Exactly. No, no, sis, it's more like it's your internal battle. It's, it's like behavioral patterns. You're used to always getting angry. So you now need to do it. You need to break that cycle, right? And that's what we're going through. That's, that's why we have Christ. 